guilt tripping. Guilt tripping is when a manipulator makes a victim feel bad about themselves, their actions, or their lack of action in a particular situation. For example, imagine a coworker who often helps you with your projects. If you collaborate with someone else on a new project, they might say, after all the times I've helped you, you're choosing someone else for this project. This is meant to instill guilt and influence your choice of partners in future projects. Love bombing. Love bombing is a manipulative strategy where the perpetrator floods their target with overwhelming affection, attention, and praise to cultivate a false sense of love. This method involves a flood of compliments, gifts, and plans for a lavish future together designed to make the victim feel exceptionally special and valued. The intense emotional investment is not genuine, but a tactic to rapidly gain control and dominance. In this manipulative dynamic, the abuser might suddenly withdraw affection, leaving the victim yearning for its return and more susceptible to manipulation. Gaslighting Gaslighting occurs when an individual tries to cast doubt on another person's perception of reality, memories, and mental stability. The concept derives from a 1938 play titled Gaslight, where a husband deliberately dims the gaslights in their house to convince his wife she's losing her mind when she notices the change. This manipulation technique erodes the victim's trust in her own judgment through deceptive lies, concealing facts, blaming others, and consistently denying the victim's account, asserting that they are fabricating the truth. Isolation Manipulators use isolation as a tactic to disconnect victims from their social circle, effectively leaving them without a support network. The manipulator gradually undermines the victim's relationships with friends and family, convincing the victim that these people are harmful to their welfare. Furthermore, the manipulator cultivates a sense of dependency by making the victim feel reliant on their support and approval, thereby instilling a fear of being unable to cope alone. Cult leaders, online predators, and abusive partners actively control and maintain power by implementing this strategy. Similarly, authoritarian workplace figures frequently use this approach to dominate their employees. Playing the victim Playing the victim is a strategy that even those who are not abusive or manipulative might use to dodge accountability. In this tactic, a person pretends to be the injured party, although they are at fault. For example, an employee who misses a deadline might claim they were overloaded with work and unfairly treated, shifting blame onto colleagues or management. They'd exaggerate their difficulties to garner sympathy, all while evading any real responsibility and denying their misdeeds. This approach proves effective because it forces the other individual to confront and accuse the pretender of being the wrong to reclaim control of the situation, a contentious move that many are reluctant to make. Threats or coercion Threats or coercion come in many forms, each with significant impacts. Physical threats might involve causing harm to a person or their property to ensure compliance. Emotional threats could include ending a relationship or spreading harmful rumors. A notable example of financial threats is the May 2021 ransomware attack on JBS USA, one of the world's largest meat processing companies. In this incident, cybercriminals demanded an $11 million ransom in Bitcoin, leading to significant disruptions in operations across the US, Australia, and Canada. Legal threats may involve the risk of litigation, while social threats aim to damage someone's reputation through lies or smear campaigns. Shaming Shaming operates in various forms, much like threats. One prevalent type is public humiliation, where a manipulator openly criticizes a victim in front of others or online to cause embarrassment. They may demean the victim by pointing out their faults compared to others, emphasizing their deficiencies to make them feel lesser and unworthy. Another example involves manipulators ridiculing victims for minor errors, intensifying the sense of shame, or actively keeping them out of social gatherings to intensify their isolation. This approach is particularly damaging as it undermines the victim's self-esteem and social relationships. Aggressive jokes Jokes often serve as a cover for deeper and more harmful intentions and can be a tool for manipulation. Some individuals, particularly those with narcissistic tendencies, use humor to subtly demean others. They disguise their insults and criticisms as jokes, which allows them to deny any malicious intent and claim innocence. These jokes go beyond simple teasing, incorporating elements like sarcasm, gaslighting, and social exclusion to a harmful extent. At social events, such jokes may specifically aim to isolate the target, making them appear foolish in front of others and prompting group aggression against them. Emotional Blackmail Emotional blackmail is a manipulative technique where an individual uses threats, guilt, and emotional coercion to dominate and control another person. One common strategy involves the manipulator withholding affection or support until the victim conforms to their wishes. Manipulators might also frequently make and then break promises or commitments, creating a pattern of unreliable behavior. 
This method undermines the victim's emotional stability and can profoundly affect their trust and confidence in the relationship. Moving the goalposts Moving the goalposts is a manipulative strategy often used in debates or negotiations where the criteria for success are continually adjusted to avoid acknowledging mistakes or accepting responsibility. For instance, a teacher might promise students extra credit for additional work. Still, after submitting the work, the teacher claims the quality needed to be higher to merit the extra points even though the original agreement was based solely on completion. Similarly, a parent might promise their child a reward for cleaning the house only to withhold it later because the child did not achieve high grades, adding conditions never initially discussed. Silent Treatment The silent treatment is a manipulative tactic employed not only in romantic relationships but also in family dynamics, professional settings, and social groups. It involves intentionally withholding communication or even eye contact as a form of punishment. This method, which includes ignoring someone's presence entirely even in the same room, is closely related to coasting. Both practices involve a breakdown in communication, but the silent treatment aims to punish and control, while ghosting typically serves as a way to end a relationship or friendship with no intention of resolution, often leaving the other party feeling rejected, abandoned, and confused. Smear Campaigns Differing from other forms of manipulation we've covered, smear campaigns are not typically the work of a single individual. Instead, they often involve groups such as the media or public figures, who are accused of trying to damage the reputations of politicians and celebrities for profit and publicity. These campaigns operate by circulating rumors and gossip to portray the victim as unreliable and untrustworthy, deliberately distorting their statements and twisting their words to serve a particular narrative. Character assassination is a critical component of smear campaigns as it involves painting the victim as morally compromised to justify further attacks. For example, during his campaign and presidency, Donald Trump faced numerous smear campaigns orchestrated by various media outlets and political opponents. These campaigns aimed to portray him as unfit for office, often spreading misinformation and exaggerations about his policies and personal conduct. One specific example includes false accusations of collusion with Russia during the 2016 election, which were widely circulated despite lacking substantial evidence. Despite Trump's efforts to defend himself and his administration, the relentless attacks contributed to widespread public skepticism and criticism. Changing the subject Switching topics is a favorite tactic of manipulators due to its speed and the victim's susceptibility unless they quickly identify and steer the conversation back on track. While the severity of this tactic varies, it's among many subtle tricks that when recognized prompt the victim to question deeper levels of manipulation and protect themselves from further exploitation. This tactic can also be a diversionary tactic to avoid accountability or uncomfortable topics. Playing on insecurities Manipulators thrive on exploiting their victims' insecurities and fears, eroding their confidence to gain control. For instance, Charles Manson, a notorious cult leader, preyed on vulnerable individuals by instilling fear and uncertainty while promising a sense of belonging and purpose within his cult. This manipulation tactic made it easy for him to influence and control his followers, leading to tragic outcomes. Additionally, he manipulated their fears of rejection and isolation to keep them loyal and obedient. Fake Moralization Fake moralization involves a manipulator pretending to have high moral standards and values to gain power and control over others. They conceal their true intentions and behavior through methods like virtue signaling or publicly supporting causes for praise. For example, a well-known celebrity or politician may loudly advocate for environmental conservation while privately engaging in wasteful and harmful practices, such as flying on private jets. The carbon emissions a private jet produces during a single two-hour flight can surpass what the average person produces in a year. It's hypocrisy at its finest. Deflection Manipulators frequently employ deflection, similar to projection but with a critical nuance. The manipulator consciously deflects their own hypocrisy onto others to dodge accountability. This tactic allows them to avoid facing responsibility and consequences for their actions by redirecting attention elsewhere. In contrast, projection involves the manipulator unconsciously shifting blame onto others due to a lack of self-awareness regarding their faults and shortcomings. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe.